A national transportation research group hopes to alleviate traffic woes in Texas and right here in San Antonio. Well, getting Central Texas traffic troubles under control. A new report out today from the National Watchdog Group has identified the biggest problems. This extensive report was put together by a national independent nonprofit research group. A study released today claims that the condition of our roads will stunt the state's economic recovery. The findings were revealed today, and they're part of the reason that the Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce is putting its weight behind Proposal 1. The study was performed by an organization called TRIP, the Transportation Research Infrastructure Program based in Washington, D.C. The program touts hundreds of studies in all 50 states. The 2014 data released by TRIP, a transportation research group, is hoping to inform voters of the impact roads are having throughout the state. As King 5's Glenn Farley reports, the national organization says the state is not spending enough on the basics of maintenance, despite how busy it might look like where you live and work. But there's another side to driving in Washington. Old bridges that are getting older, pavement that's peeling off, and a nearly $2 billion shortfall to fix it all. Those conclusions from TRIP, a national transportation research organization based in Washington, D.C. Now a research group is honing in on the roads around the Tri-Cities that are most in need of work. Transportation issues are at the top of the governor's mind right now. So is new research that shows just how bad our roads and gridlock have become. A national transportation research group was in Springfield today to let city leaders know just how much rail roadways are costing area drivers. TRIP, a Washington, D.C.-based organization, released a report saying that deficient and congested roads are costing each Springfield area driver. TRIP suggests that increased investment in transportation improvements at the local and state level would not only lower that number but also boost economic growth. In a consumer alert tonight, a report says bad roads cost each Jefferson City driver more than $1,300 a year. TRIP, a national transportation research group, looked at Missouri roads. Everybody's affected by, by deteriorating roads. A new report unveiled by a national transportation research group, TRIP, says Missouri's roads are drastically underfunded. A new report shows funds will be dropping off at the federal level and there is no long-term plan in place. Projects could be headed for a big bump in the road. That's what a new report by a National Transportation Research Group shows. Toledo's bumpy streets could be some of the worst in the nation. A recent study shows that nearly half of the roads not under construction need significant repair, but the challenge is fun funding those projects. 13 ABC's Amy Montgomery joins us live with what's being done to change that, Amy. Diane, the national group that did the study hopes the results will urge lawmakers to come up with a long-term plan for Ohio's roads. Without it, they say some of those much-needed repairs may never happen. 